Meanwhile, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria has appealed to the two dominant political parties in Nigeria to allow the zoning of part of the southern part of the country. Addressing journalists after its Southeast Zona meeting in Enugu, National Vice President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria requested that Indigo should be allowed the presidential slot in 2023. Bamdeli Ajayi has details. As Nigeria is set to elect new sets of political leaders to take over from the present administrations. Major stakeholders across the country have been making contributions, sensitizing the public as well as making their voices heard. And top of the agenda now is the issue of zoning, as major ethnic tribes that have not produced precedent since the return of democracy in 1999 are making their voices heard. Importantly, the quest for the power to rotate from north to south, since the incumbent president is serving out the tenure of the north, is gathering momentum. That is why the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, Southeast Region, rose from a meeting in Enugu to establish a strong position on why power should rotate to the Southeast. The PDP and APC, this is our appeal to you. Can you please allow the South to produce presidential candidates? The group also frowned at imposition of Muslim Muslim ticket for 2023 presidency, insists that Nigeria is not a mono religious country. Any political party that dares to make the mistake of fielding Muslim Muslim candidates in the presidential election, that the Pentecostals in Nigeria and all well meaning Nigerians including well-meaning Muslims who don't want to accommodate such a blunder, that we will vote against that political party. The group seeks political solution to the release of Mazen Namdekano, suggesting that it is a solution that will doubt the rising insecurity cases in the Southeast. The National People's Democratic Party Youth Movement supports the rotations of power to the South. The youth group is advocating for more youth participation in elected positions. Our call on national leadership of our dear party to further prefer on critical stakeholders at various state level to give special consideration for youth who are just looking for party ticket as we commence primaries. At the end, the clergymen and the PDP youth movement appeal to President Mahmoud Buhari to decisively end the over three months academic staff union of universities ongoing industrial actions. Bamidele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugu.